All right, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to this is the new and improved Mind Roam with a super special guest, EJ Delapaz. Can't wait to hear your stories. I know, I think you're local, uh, I'd say local entrepreneur, especially mm-hmm. recently with a bunch of really cool things. Um, okay. any, any of our local people who are listening, um, especially in Waterloo region, the FT project, uh, it's big, it's big stuff. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. Um, so how are you doing? I know we talked a little bit before we started this, but how was your Christmas break? And by the way, yeah, this is coming out sometime between January, uh, this week and next week. So some early January. We just got off Christmas break. How are you doing? How did that go? I'm doing pretty well. Christmas break was a really big grind. Like that's when, that's when I started grinding like really hard. Cause I don't know, it's something clicked the week before Christmas break. Like, you know how we have online school? Yeah. 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 I skipped every class during that week because something <laughs> clicked in my mind on Sunday. I'm like, I want to start this because I've been planning this since last year. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I've, I've always wanted to do it. Like, I'm just going to start it. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to start it. So yeah. winter break was always, uh, was like all about like getting everything together, starting, just doing as many projects as I could, doing those little patches for all the local businesses. For sure. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, even just like to comment on that, like, I feel like this like the whole quarantine right now, you can like make so much stuff out of it. Like mm-hmm. people are just you know, sit in the room, playing games, whatever, you know, focusing on school, like just, just chilling. But like the people that are actually working, they're, you know, having good ideas, executing them. Mm. We would have never made this podcast if it wasn't for COVID. Yeah. Like, yeah. Make the Co- best. COVID was a blessing in disguise. Yeah, that's exactly. actually, that was my com or uh, my caption on one of my posts. It was like, it really was. Yeah. But um, another thing we want to jump into is, even just talking to you right away, we I know we have similar ideals, uh, similar views on life surrounding like going mm-hmm. big with your dreams, just like living life to the fullest. Um, yeah, I, I want to pick your brain. Have you always thought like that? Because I, I I'm assuming no, heck no. no. Wow. No. When did what? It's okay, this crazy. is interesting. Then what? How did oh, you yeah. change, and what changed? You know, when people ask that question, it's not like there's no certain day that it changes, right? There's it's all the little things you do in life that yeah. changes like like when you're working out, you don't see changes right away. You change you see changes through everything you do and then mm-hmm. at the very end. So I used to live in Mississauga, right? And the schools there, I was like I was just I don't know why I'm talking about my grades, but I was a failure, like I don't know why. But then uh grade seven rolled around, I moved here and something clicked then like I took every chance that I could and I fixed my grades brought home straight A's I made better friends that I'm friends with now like they feel like family Mm -hmm. and and, like everything clicked like grade seven was the year that changed my life yeah wow and is it just do you know I I know it's kind of I feel like I've had something similar and a lot of people in that area area do is like uh, I know grade nine for me was a really tough year and that's mm-hmm. kind of, I know when people get into really tough situations like that, uh, it's a breaker, make or break moment. And I know for me, that was when I thought like, you know what, uh, at that point, things weren't really great. Like I wasn't, I was kind of down a little bit, but I fixed that right away and something just clicked. I just like that clicking moment where you're like, okay, holy crap, I'm going to do all these amazing things because why not and ever since then that i've been just working at that trying to do and achieve all those things so yeah i I really respect that when someone else has that change in like a view on life it's really interesting it's also like sure that we say that um we've never always had it but we probably did Mm -hmm. but it just took that moment to just show us you know yeah yeah exactly and i've ever since Mm-hmm. sorry oh go on like I, i've always ever since i was a kid i'd be like doing little businesses and like trying new things and i always knew i was different i just didn't know in what way mm-hmm. yeah how i find out no yeah that's like find amazing a, you have to like find a way to put your skills to like what your hobbies are right like exactly i remember 
when I was even in like grade four or grade five or whatever, I made like a YouTube channel and I was learning back then how to edit thumbnails, how to, like all this mm -hmm. stuff. And then who, I mean, never got big, but then whoever known, like I'm in high school doing this podcast thing and I already know exactly what to do. Like that creative process just keeps on going where made merch, you know, we designed our logos, we're doing thumbnails each week. So it's, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Like it's like, sorry. No, 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 I'm, I'm done. Go on, go on. People always say that like everything you do in life, all the little decisions, they always amount to something big and they always mean something. And here you guys are, mm -hmm. or here we are. Yeah, yeah. And like, this is, who knows, this is, could be something small that bleeds into something bigger. Like it's just, that's the fun of this journey, I guess. Uh -huh. But, um, let's get into the FT project ex itself. Like you said, You've uh, working on it for a year. Um, it's kind of it's interesting, and we definitely wanted to talk to you about this because we've seen that it's pretty diverse so far. You've got this really cool clothing mashup, which is awesome, and you have these patches. And we kind of just want to know, like, what what are you trying to accomplish by doing this? And uh, yeah, like, what is your whole brand about? You know. I think it's. Are you? What are you guys scared of? Um, what are your biggest fears? You go uh, first, mate. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's it's being alone, like having no one there. Mm -hmm. Oh like, yeah. Feeding off of the people around you, like that's make that would like you die if you didn't have people around you. Yeah. So I feel like that your biggest fear for like for me like psychologically like not really like physical fear or like I don't even know what to say but like just just having people around you like so so important so being alone is definitely okay mm -hmm. and i think mine mine is just because i've always or like i've always had that really big dreamers mindset is my biggest fear would not being able to not accomplishing it i'd exactly. say okay so to answer your question like why did i why did i start this or why am i doing this yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah. like I'm really scared. Like, I'm scared of a lot of things. Like, one of my biggest fears is, like, it's not death, right? I'm not scared of dying. But I'm not, I'm scared of dying, but not doing enough, you know? Like, mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people are like that. Dying, but not doing enough. Like, with regret in your heart. And in your yeah, mind. for sure. Like, my goal is not to live forever, but to create something that does. And I really hope that I can build this movement, not only brand, but movement, the FTE project for the experience. Mm -hmm. to be something bigger than just me like everywhere around the world yeah yeah that that thing of like not doing enough that's i mean that was probably a better answer than me because <laughs> <laughs> because like being alone yeah but like if you don't do enough in your life mm -hmm. like you can't you can't grow as a person like you, exactly. all, like, mm -hmm. all these experiences like it's just so important yeah no and i've uh, i remember the first time it's funny. I, I used to be a big Logan Paul fan back in the day. And I think we all were. Oh, yeah. And he had, I mean, he was a crazy dude, but he did. I remember he would have his like 2020 or not 2020. Um, His just recaps, his yearly recaps. Mm -hmm. And oh, the ones hit hard. I got goosebumps. Every yeah, time. I know. And that's the thing. And like, that's, I think that was back in like 20, 2016, 17? 2017. Yeah. And I remember that still around the same time where I was like, okay that's amazing what he's saying is like uh i think the i'm trying to rephrase what he said the one time it's like it's not that we don't have enough time it's just that you need to do more and oh. it's like so true and like i know i know and i that's what when he said that it like completely resonated because i really strongly believe in that exact same thing yeah. like i want to do as much as i can yeah i mean when you think about it people always say that life is like really short mm -hmm. but life is the longest thing we're ever going to experience yeah exactly it's crazy to think about it that way mm -hmm. well, even like you said uh i mean i, I follow gary v too and when he says like when he's talking to these kids right or these teenagers our age or whatever he's like if you're worrying about your next test you literally have like that's just such a small percentage of your what life. you're having to worry about mm -hmm. Just don't let that, you know, bother you at all. Just keep moving forward, looking, you know, striving for what you want to do, striving for your goals. And I mean, like Gary Vee, I don't think he's, 
he's more of a motivational speaker than I think than a businessman. Cause I feel like some things you have to be wise on for sure and, and take calculated risks. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, it's, I love watching those guys and it's just, it's pretty, pretty cool to see, especially for, you know, creative thinkers or entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And even I was talking to, uh, I was talking to Nate earlier back and we were saying like for the experience and we were looking at your shirt when you made and we were like, damn, that's actually really cool. And just like the, the, for the experience name is just like, yeah unreal like that's really cool i should have worn that shirt instead of this one yeah i know you should have be you got to be it's plugging my closet. and like, yeah no like mm -hmm. was that your idea like how did you think of like did you like homemade that shirt or yeah that you... was a homemade shirt i just literally took two shirts that were in my closet cut them in half and i'm like yo let's stitch this together because i'm always i was always a big fashion guy like i had a really good fashion sense ever since i was a kid mm -hmm. yeah i, I remember you doing own. Coming in, we went to the same, we all went to the same elementary school for anyone listening. And you'd see EJ walking in in like a tux some oh, days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, you never knew what you were going to get with hey, EJ. Yo, look good. You If you look good, you feel good. You <laughs> exactly. Good, man. Exactly. That's why we should have wore our pea coats to our test day, Nate. What were we <laughs> thinking? Uh, but anyways, yeah, your, your stamps. And um, you were saying before on your Instagram two you're showing that you made stamps and patches for uh seven three three four seven eight and sorry i keep messing his name up but like that's pretty cool stuff and you said you talked to their managers and their yeah, people I, like reaching out for you yeah yeah they really liked it I, I, okay so i'm like you know how gary v would always say reach out to like those big influencers and mm -hmm. you know you never know you get you get the shot so i decided you know what Let's give him something for free. I haven't given it to him yet, but like I made this. Yeah, that is really see. cool. This took 19 hours with just my like my hand in a, a needle because I don't have a I don't have a sewing machine. Yeah, we were yeah. gonna ask like, well, how do you? So obviously you make these yourself. How do you um, do that then? It's like it's called embroidery. I get like a a piece of cloth. I get the design. I I I had to make this because the design was really bad. So I had mm -hmm. to like retrace it in Adobe. And then I put that on the cloth and then I just trace it with a bunch of um, floss or or a string. There's all, all my extra Jeez. string over there. Holy. That's actually, that's, that's impressive. That's really impressive. You like, made a few I didn't now. even know I could do this. I didn't even know I could do this. I'm just like, you know what? Send it. Yeah. yeah. Were you just like, I, I want to make a patch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, wow. I don't know why. That's actually, that's sick. That's really cool. And yeah. another thing we also want to touch on too is you have a saying and you've said it quite a few times on your ft project instagram page mm. i'm plugging it for you everyone go follow um but yeah you, you say a lot about like seeds and planting seeds and the growth yeah. of that can you elaborate on that and what's what's that about um because life is okay i feel like every time i talk i'm always so I have a mindset of inspiring and motivating people. No, that's I'm your sorry. brand. Go for it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But we're trees, right? We take forever. This is a long ass game that we're playing. Mm -hmm. Like life is the longest game we'll ever play. So planting seeds, trees take a really long time to grow. If you plant seeds now, you never know where they're going to be in the future. Mm -hmm. right? So like you guys are starting this now, but who knows five years down the line, you might have the biggest show ever. Yeah. Own reality TV show, own set. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. Especially since we're so young, we have so much time on our hands, so much opportunity. Like, I want to, I want to make sure to inspire people to take every opportunity you get. You know. Yeah, and that's what all three of us, and like Matt and all the other people involved in Charged Up, and anyone who's doing what they want to do right now, that's the biggest advantage ever is starting young. And I'm not saying like if you're older, like so many people when they're older start things and it's still successful. But the fact that we're able to do this and we're young and we have so much time, mm -hmm. endless amount of time, like it's insane. It's it's amazing. We, we got a head start on everyone. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. why we're going to win. We're also so blessed. Yeah, blessed to mm -hmm. find our passion at such a young age. Yeah. No, I, I completely agree with that as well. Like I, I, I feel like we have so much, like we all have so much in common because it's just the way we think. Yeah. It's awesome. And just to put like my two cents in there, I, I feel like um, 
consistency is huge, especially like oh, yeah. for this stuff. Like, you know, there, there's so many other people that are doing it, but if you can find little unique ways and even like for you with the stamps thing, like, like who does that? Right. Like that's like, like insane. Right. Mm-hmm. And um, like with us for the podcast, like, you know, we've been doing this for like eight months now. Like that's pretty, pretty consistent. We've been doing like weekly uploads in the summertime, three episodes a week. That's and crazy. If we do that time. The hustle is real. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure, man. It was and then, then for sure. Yeah. It was like, like five years. I mean, who who knows where I could go? Exactly. Who knows? Like you could be making these episodes. Sure. Like no, like not as much people as you want would be viewing them. But what if that next episode, what if this episode is the one that blows up? Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. That'd be pretty sweet. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's hope that happens then. <laughs> But yeah, no, I, um, another thing, like at this point too, it's so uncertain, but do you have any big plans that you're willing to share for the mind roam viewers for 2021? And if not, that's totally okay. Huh. During, uh, big plans. Putting you on the spot here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of plans and I feel like one thing I go by is I don't want, I never, never give out everything, you know, you know, mm-hmm. so, so I don't want like saying big things that I'm going to do and then don't end up doing it. Cause then I'm just going to be a hypocrite, you know? Yeah. yeah. But one thing I really want to work on is actually getting this, like the clothing to people so mm-hmm. that people are literally wor- w- walking billboards. Yeah. Um, but the very biggest thing I want to see a change in like people's lives. I want to see people achieving the dreams and doing what they've always wanted to do because this year is the year that's going to change everyone. Mm-hmm. But yeah, EJ, I feel way more inspired now talking about uh, talking about all of this. And I really hope you've inspired... If you've inspired us in talking to you, I'm sure anyone listening is, will be inspired too. So we'll that's definitely... Goal, yeah, exactly. Inspiring and, one, if I inspire one person out of all of this, like that, that I'd be happy. Yeah, well, I could probably guarantee you did. So... We're going to leave all your socials, all that stuff in the description, link you up. And also a huge shout out. And I think uh, you could definitely expect some collaborations further with between us because I think the dynamic is there. So, so thank you again for coming on and we'll uh, hopefully see you soon. Well, thank you guys for listening to this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe.